Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes, on your phones, into your space. Welcome to my channel. If you just happen to pass by, that's great. I'm glad you found me. For my existing subscribers, hang on in there. I appreciate you enough, enough. And yeah, I wanted to talk about the new travel document for the UK. For anybody that's visited the United States or Canada, you'll know that you have to complete an online ESTA. Um, travel registration and what that does is when you go to America you it it facilitates I think it does all the security checks or something we don't know we just know it's compulsory we just complete it you pay whatever it is it was like $14 or $20 I can't really remember I think it's about $14 which is about 10 quid and then in a couple of days, you get your um, authorization number, you print it off and you take it with you when you're traveling. You put it in your passport, without which you cannot get into America. Now, what Boris Johnson is doing, he's bringing the equivalent to the UK, but he's calling it ETAS, Electronic Travel Authorization System. And, but it'll work exactly the same way as America's does. The other thing I'm not quite sure is, is how much it's going to cost. I'm hoping it's not going to cost a lot of money. I hope it's not a money-making scheme and that it will be, a, you know, a nominal amount, just like the American and the Canadian um, registration fee. I think what they you charge in America, you pay $10 for the ESTA and then you pay some kind of administration fee of four, $4. So the total is $14. I think that's if you're in America, but I've got a funny feeling if you get an ESTA from the UK, it's $20. It's about 10 or 12 pounds. Anyway, it's not much. So, but it that is supposed to um, get rid of a lot of red tape when you are traveling, once you have that. And to be honest, you can't get in America without it. So if you are deciding to travel to America and you didn't know about the ESTA, well, now you do. So what about the ETAS? Um, the ETAS, it's not, in, it's not in place yet. It's supposed to come in post-Brexit. And it's, um, so we're not sure of the date of the launch. So keep your ears to the ground because it's really, really important for anybody coming into the UK post-Brexit. It's going to be compulsory. You won't be able to get in without it. Um, it will allow the home office or where the home office might be separated by them. So the new visa and immigration officials to do the security examination on anyone wishing to come to the UK. EU and non-EU visa nationals will also have to apply for ETAS um, post-Brexit and they'll have to do that online as well. Um, as we know, it will be more difficult then only because of the 12-point um, Australian system uh, because um, EU nationals or non-EU nationals outside who haven't got settled status will have to comply with that, as will everybody else. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. I think people underestimate how qualified and how um, competent people outside Western countries are. So I don't think that Australian star system is going to be an obstacle to a lot of people if they want to come into the country. Of course, they have to speak the language and there's a host of other little things that they need. You know, of course, they only have to have the financial backing and that kind of stuff. But by and large, it shouldn't be too difficult if you are a qualified, intelligent, educated individual. Um, so, like I said, I'm not sure of the price um, that ETAS will apply to visitors. Any traveller, in fact, anybody coming into the UK will need to complete that ETAS before they can come in. So, share this with your friends if you know any. Well, sh I think you should share it only because it will put people on the alert. They will start asking, oh, I wonder if I need to complete that online um, form, whereas at the moment they won't know about it. But at least like next year, if they're thinking about traveling to the UK, they will have it in their minds that such a system will be in place very soon. Um, yeah, the Esther in America, it covers 90 days visit. And it lasts for two years. And I think that's pretty good for $10 or $14. 
So, like I said, I'm hoping the UK don't try and exploit it. I hope it's about the same price. But I'm just really putting you on notice, peeps. And that's all for now. Short and sweet. Bye-bye.